Welcome to the GUI of MCQ, which incorporates frames, toolbars, icons, and a tree structure. The frame on the right hand side is our display screen. It highlights information and activities associated with the tree structure on the left. The tree structure on the left supports two primary entities, a library resource and an active project resource. The library resource also consists of two parts, a project library and a material library. The material library contains validated classes of composite materials. These include fibers, resins, plies, honeycombs, braids, and triaxials, which may be used to support better designs, better components, and better solutions. An end user can either take advantage of the library or import his or her own material properties to conduct an analysis. The project library is divided into two sections, tutorials and test validations. Tutorials are guided step-by-step -step instructions that explain how to use the software and provide a roadmap that an end user may follow to help solve a particular problem. Test validations are examples in which the results of MCQ analysis are compared to experimental data that is taken either from an AlphaStar project or extracted from the literature. Typically, most test validation cases are derived from real-world applications that involves some form of test data. Now let's talk about projects. Please notice the project associated with one of our tutorials is currently open and is being used for the purpose of this discussion. In general, a project based on a tutorial may be activated by right-clicking the cursor over the tutorial and selecting Open Project. Please note, when you click on any item in the tree structure on the left, quick help and topic-specific information will be displayed in the panel display on the right-hand side of the screen. For instance, when an end user selects materials under the project section, a message in images related to adding fiber, matrix, honeycomb, ply, braid, or triaxials to the project appears in the panel display. Further, when an end user selects fiber, matrix, or braid below materials, he or she will be provided with additional guidance and information on the right-hand side. As noted, the AS4-3501 Material System Tutorial is large and contains many steps that an end user can follow to understand the process of material characterization and qualification. As you become more familiar with the code, you'll notice that the input file supports multiple specifications, including the material, post-damage degradation, failure criteria, strain limit, and definition of the laminate. The section that should be most familiar to end users is the material component, which contains definitions for the fiber, matrix, and laminate. In MCQ, an end user can define the laminate by utilizing the laminate editor, which provides a table that may be edited to reflect ply thickness, ply orientation, choice of fiber, choice of matrix, fiber volume ratio, void volume ratio, and active failure criteria. MCQ supports multiple failure criteria and there are predefined failure options for known composite configurations. Failure criteria may also vary over multiple sections. So far we have described the input component of a project. We will now move on to the analysis component of a project, which utilizes the previously defined input data. MCQ has 10 primary analysis modules for material characterization and qualification. Fiber matrix ply calibration and laminate mechanics are the first two. Fiber matrix ply calibration accepts unidirectional ply material property data from five ASTM tests and reverse engineers effective in situ fiber and matrix properties for the same unidirectional ply. The specific tests consist of longitudinal tension, longitudinal compression, transverse tension, transverse compression, and shear. In addition, the module utilizes some initial information from the manufacturer, such as fiber longitudinal modulus, Young's modulus of the matrix, fiber volume ratio, void volume ratio, and several coefficients of variance associated with the defined properties. This information may be imported as a text file or manually populated using the on-screen editor. 
Fiber matrix ply calibration utilizes a closed form analytical solution that does not require finite element analysis. As a result, the module is extremely fast. Once completed, the module automatically generates charts, curves, and tables that reflect effective fiber and matrix in situ properties, including out of plane, as well as a comparison between input data and reconstituted material properties to reflect virtual performance of the unidirectional ply. It should be noted that the process incorporates an optimization step to improve the fidelity of the virtual model. Further, all subsequent calibration actions work to optimize the result to perfect the virtual material model within a known percentage difference. The next two steps are laminate mechanics and material nonlinearity. Once calibrated, the frozen virtual material properties may be used to predict the performance of other layups, such as a quasi-isotropic laminate with a 57% fiber volume ratio and a 2% void volume ratio. In the graphs on display, black corresponds to physical test for the unidirectional ply, and red corresponds to the virtual predicted performance of the recently analyzed quasi-isotropic laminate. If we switch back to our unidirectional laminate by selecting and embolding the layup under laminates on the project tree, we will see that the calibrated virtual data represented by the red curves matches the physical test data represented by the black curves. When it is properly selected, the text is emboldened. Here we see a calibrated model reflecting matrix nonlinearity that was discussed earlier. Depending on the requirements, an engineer may continue to optimize the process and improve the final result. In this manner, we can predict the behavior of multiple laminates and even consider complex composite architectures such as honeycombs, weaves, and braids. Thank you for joining us in the calibration component of our MCQ introductory videos.